We are taking over Fiorentina for another transfer budget challenge. With our transfer budget once again being £100 million. And my dad and I are going head to head to sign players and see who can do better across one season. Same format as before. One season simmed with our own tactics. One season simmed with the same tactic. But first, let's see how the AI did with the money. So dad, the AI, yeah. they spent quite a lot of money not quite the 100 but they also sold some players yeah so they actually sold Baraghi the starting left back to AC Milan but they replaced him straight away with Ryan Aitnori which is a very good signing good. to be yeah. fair yeah uh, brought him in for 21 million pound up to 27 then they signed another player but this was in the January so that's the advantage that they have yeah. over us we yeah, signed we the that, players we? before first game of the season they sign them whenever they obviously won but Decore comes in from Crystal Palace. Another really good signing, to be fair. Yeah. You can play in that CDM role quite well. Uh, George De Frutos was another player that they spent a little bit of money on. £14 million. Uh, decent winger, to be fair. Not amazing, but good enough for this division. And they've also got a few free tra free transfers like Mustafi, etc., who's come into the club. Yeah. How did they do, though? Well, they finished in seventh place. Ooh. That's going to be hard to beat, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad finish for them. No. Not a bad finish for them at all. Uh, so AC Milan finished top. I can't see any Fiorentina players other than Gonzalez who got uh, player the matches here. So he is obviously one of their star players that they've got in the side. They didn't do very well in the cup, though. They were eliminated by Monza right, okay, in the yeah. second round. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about the cup competition. Uh, but they actually finished in seventh place in the league, which looks like they rescued it because wasn't a great middle no. there in January and February, but it was a very good end of the season with some 1-0 wins. Uh, their tactic that they play is a 4-3-3. So, very bog down to 4-3-3. I don't think neither of us have used that tactic. No, we haven't. So. No. I did think of this tactic because it's more defensive. Yeah. As in putting that, that their defensive midfielder, a defensive yeah, midfielder in, in that place, didn't it? Yeah. Which I think Italian football do do, really, don't they? Absolutely. So let's take a look at the transfers that I've brought in and then have a look at my tactic. I clearly seen a weakness in midfield. I went for two centre mids, with Kefren Turan being that classic box to box type of ball progressor that only cost me 20 million. I also brought in a player that I think would be a good halfback, Bubakar Kamara. And I must be committing to that player role because I splashed more money on him than I did on your mum. I'm sorry, that was really uncalled for. I then decided to bring in Suso to play on the right-hand side from Sevilla for just £12 million. So thoughts on the players that I signed, Dad? £92 million spent. I think you spent well. I mean, you've, you've gone for one big guy, uh, you know, expensive, in 60 Kamara, million yeah. for 100 million. So you've, you've earned just over half of your your, uh, your, money, your yeah. amount. So, but good player though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so mainly for the right hand side, to I do, I as do that like box him. Yeah. Box. yeah, I do like. I must admit, I like. I like all three of your points. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all <laughs> I'm, right. Then. I'm worried now. <laughs> Tactically, this is how I'm setting up. I'm going for a Ooh. positive four. Well, two, four, two, really. I mean, it, it kind of looks like that, but it's a four, two, triple two. So we've got the four at the back there, but I'm playing them higher. The two in midfield, two wingers, two strikers. You've gambled big here, haven't you? I have gambled, For the yeah. Italian league, that is a big gamble, I think. Yeah. Uh, so but if, the annoying thing is we don't, like, nail in players. Uh, maybe we should do in the future, but I best 11 if I picked it. Kamara's the only one that goes in there. Gonzalez starts on the right hand side instead of where usually I thought he would play up front yeah. to be honest and then that's where Sousa would go into yeah. but they haven't done that uh, and Amrabat because he was only on loan at Manchester United and we've gone a season ahead already has come back Right. I thought Kamara would go in there and Turam would go in that position Yeah. but I'm not too di no, worried about it Kamara, uh, Amrabat is a good player. Kamara can play in both roles. So I don't mind too much because that half-back role is, tends to sit in to make a three at the back. We've got two very good centre-backs already. Um, I'm okay with that. So that's kind of how it will, will, will line up. This will be interesting because it is a very attacking team, I think. Yeah. So will that work in Italian football? I don't know. All right. Well, there's only one way to find yeah. out. I'll simulate <laughs> my season with this tactic. Then we'll take a look at Daz's tactic. And then, of course, we'll take a look at how we do with the same tactic. Well, I finished in ninth place. Ooh. <laughs> that is good for, for an attacking time. I, I honest, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I did think you were going to finish around the 13th mark. Yeah. Uh, so 63rd place. Now, the actual, where they are previewed to finish, which we didn't look at before, was 8th. 
Right. So the AI finished one above that. Yeah. They've done quite well. Atalanta, I think, had a bad season on theirs. But Inter Milan finished as champions. We only finished in ninth place. The clubs above that I would be disappointed to finish behind is Sassuolo. Yeah. Other than that, I'm looking at all of those other teams and thinking, okay, fair enough, I can see and that. And I think happening. that is probably a realistic league table because you always do get one or two teams that overperform. Yeah. Yeah, and I always find in the Serie A, there's always a team that overperforms. Like when we were obviously in the Serie A, Salernitana was second for yeah. the whole season, and yeah. we couldn't believe what was going on. <laughs> uh, that was in the versus rebuild, in case you're wondering where that was. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, ninth place is not bad. Cup competition, there's only one because we're not in Europe, the Coppa Italia. I was knocked out in the third round. So I've had a bad time here. Not had I've, a good I've time. Got a, at all. I've got a chance here, then, not I? I've got you a have. chance. I've got a chance. Now, Come on. My goals, only Nicolas Gonzalez got 50, uh, 15 goals, 14 from Enzola. Uh, Turam actually played. Right. So that's good for yeah. me. He played quite a lot. And I think he must have played by form in the Segundo Volante role. So I'm not sure what happened for them to change their mind. Uh, but Kamara didn't play in the Segundo Volante role. It looks like he played in the halfback role. So that actually went as I hoped it would go. That's fair so enough. So that's not too bad. Yeah. Suso never played that much. Uh, I, it says he played 34 games there, so maybe he did play quite a lot. He did from the right hand side. So all three of my players did play. Yeah. Which I'm surprised with considering that. He got four goals and seven assists. So, so they all played their then. part. It wasn't a waste of money <laughs> uh, compared to what the best 11 was at the start. Yeah. But there we go. So that's what you've got to beat, Dad. And to be honest, it's not a lot. <laughs> I, have I still think I bought well. I just I'm, don't think the I'm still worried. Right. I'm still worried. After seeing yours, I'm still worried, really, because I'm thinking you played a very attacking side and, and you still got to there, so I, I'm a little bit worried, I must admit. All right, well, let's have a look at who Dad brought in and then look at Dad's tactic. Right, Dad, here are your sign ins. And I've got to say, I like them. Yeah. I really do. Well, I looked, I looked at the team I've got and, and I must admit, um, I wasn't happy with my strike force. So I thought if I get a a really good striker in I'd be right there but my defence I thought was alright yeah they got good defenders yeah so I thought leave my defence alone definitely needed a striker and I couldn't believe I could get hold of this guy I, mean, no, I know he's 36 but this guy does it in this league anyway he's been in this league before yeah and he's in his uh, it's got, in his prime he was here in his prime, he? Yeah, yeah. tearing so, it up for so, Palermo and so for the money that I paid for this guy 1 million I thought he's he's better than what I've got yeah. <laughs> and I'm only paying a million pound for him so uh, picking him up from Boca Juniors for just one million. Yeah. The guy who once scored 29 goals in 34 games for Napoli yeah. in this league when Napoli weren't exactly winning the league. So, phenomenal player, Edison Cavani. I love him because of his time at Manchester United. He's a player that just gives it his whole. Oh, he, he's just so hard to play against. Yeah. Isn't he? I mean, you look at his physicals in that, in that it's, it's um, all there in it. You know, Strength is there. His natural good fitness as well. 18 for yeah. a 36. 36 year old and that's it's why Christian Ronaldo all over again isn't it yes that's why you can go as long as you yeah. can so that is a great sign for just one million pounds yeah. that's a smart sign in then you went for two midfielders yeah one a bit more attacking which was the first one you picked up Aston Villa from yeah I wanted from someone just to sit Wendy. behind my strikers then and and be quite good at it and and passing and all that he's got it all this way yeah and he and he's He's, he's not bad at finishing, but his dribbling and his first touch is all there, and his passing is, is there. Look, yeah. so his technique is there. So everything I need for for supplying my strikers, this guy's got it. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm he's got sure. a bit of aggression as well. Him and like Cavani well. are going to be best friends. Yeah, of course they are. So, <laughs> and we've raided Aston Villa in this video. Yeah, we Both have. Yeah. Surprisingly, went for Aston Villa players, which says a lot about Aston Villa recently. Yeah. Uh, then you also went for my old boy Thomas Suchek. Yeah. Well. I just wanted someone, a, a proper ball winner in the midfield, but someone that does the box to box and it just bombs up there. And you've all said it in your videos, whenever you go and fix this guy, he arrives late and this is why he scores so many goals. He does, yeah. And um, when I was looking for a centre midfielder, this guy, I mean, you you were just sat back watching me, weren't you? And all of a sudden I goes, oh yeah, the West Ham guy, I want him. And you went, yeah. I knew you'd pick him. He popped up on the screen <laughs> as like the players that we were searching for like this. And Dad was scrolling through all of these names. And I see Thomas Suchak and I thought, he's gone past Suchak. Yeah, he yeah, <laughs> signed Suchak. And he went, actually, what about Thomas Suchak? And I was like, fuck. <laughs> so he went for Thomas Suchak in the end. And I think that's a good sign because as you say, he has the player traits, gets four whenever possible, arrives late in the area. And he has 14 finishing with good composure. Yeah. So when he does arrive late and the ball does come to him, he tends to put it away. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So he does score quite a lot of goals. So I have made my side 
more attacking. Yeah. As in better players for attacking and just left my defence as it is, which I did look at a centre a couple, a couple of centre defenders and I but yeah. I struggled to better what I already had. Yeah, they've got Carter and uh, Milenkovic, which, yeah. is, is, which is good. You'd have to spend a lot of money to bring yeah. in a defender to be better than that. So I was so happy with the three boys. Then. Yes. Talk to me about it. The diamond. Well, the players that I've bought fits into this combination. That's how I've looked at it. Yeah. You know, you my back pick, four stays there as it is. All three of them start. Yeah, and that's what all I was after. Um, our, the, the the defending midfield player, Amrabat, who said, you know, he was he was nailed in for me anyway when he when yeah. I when I said about my team, I said I, I I I wasn't interested in replacing this this player, so I wasn't you know I'm quite happy with it, my sort of back five then as you say. So all I was interested in was going forward from that. And what could I do to make it better? I didn't want to be too too aggressive going forward. Yeah. Like like I think you was, but I still think that's good enough for this league. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it's good enough. That I'm I'm defending still, but I'm I, when I do attack, I attack in numbers. Yeah. You got two very good fullbacks who are great at bombing forward and yeah. be attacking. So packing out the midfield is actually quite smart to be yeah. fair. Uh, so that's your team. Let's have a look. And simulate this with Dad's signings. Dad, you finished oh. ninth place <laughs> as well. <laughs> exactly the oh, same well. place as where I finished. Yeah. Uh, there was a couple of teams that were different. Lazio finished yeah. lower, uh, and you had Torino. No, not Torino. Sorry, Bologna who finished above. But other than that, it was the exact same teams. So Sassuolo coming in there in eighth place. I think I had more points. Yeah. I, I need to remember to look at how many points yeah. we had. Uh, but I think I have more points, but it's still the same finish. You I was consistent right across the whole season, really, when I, yeah. Time, yeah. Uh, so, not too bad. If you look at the profile of the team, you had more names in there, though. Gonzalez was very good for you because he got 23 goals and he had one of the highest average ratings in the league with one of the most highest amount of the matches. So, yeah. he is Fiorentina's star player. Uh, you'd expect him to be quite good and being around and running about that if you had somewhere, you know, some good tactic that's going to allow him to do that. There we go. So Napoli won the league. Let's take a look at the cup competition semi-final. Oh, I was nearly there. Semi-final. Very good, Dad, to get there to begin with, which is, of course, has played across two legs. Yeah. You lost 6-3 on aggregate, oh, unfortunately, well. to the Milan side. Wasn't that close. Uh, it was both Milan's in the final and Inter yeah. went on and won it. Uh, but yeah, you did very well. You knocked out Salernitana. Third round, you knocked out Napoli, 5-4. They won the league as well. And they won the league. Yeah. What a game that is, by the way, 5-4. Atalanta, another team that you knocked out the league yeah. that is capable of winning it. Uh, yeah, very good, Dad. I mean, you've got the slight edge, I think, because of that cup performance yeah. so far. Let's take a look at the players that you bought. Cavani, what a season he had. 22 goals. Yeah, pleased with that. 13 assists. 13 assists. assists. Mm. That's why the boy above him has scored so many goals, because yeah, really, that's what he's just doing, isn't he? Buendia didn't have as many assists, and I am surprised by that, but he yeah. did score 12. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe. You know, that's not too bad. Thomas. Suchek got three goals, two assists. That's where I'm disappointed. Yeah. That's the guy that's let me down, I think. Yeah, I could he have done with him a, a few more. more goals, yeah. Absolutely. But other than that, not bad at all. Um, all right, all right. It's both hit ninth, but I'm happy with that, I yeah. must admit. Yeah. All right. Before we take a look at the tactic that we are both going to use, remember we are now doing a weekly podcast, which you can find on page.com forward slash Gaming or the channel members. You can join as a channel member or become a Patreon member uh, on the £3 tier and you can watch the weekly podcast. On the £5 tier, you can also get the save game files for every single rebuild that we do, including the Versus rebuild. And that, of course, helps pay for Dan's wages to be here today to record these yeah, videos. You. So they are allowing us to, to, to record more videos for you guys like this one and the versus rebuilds so we thank you very much for doing that uh, that's our little payback yeah as a as a thank you is is the podcast and we're this week we're, we're talking about um well we're going to be back to talking about premier league football yeah. last week we spoke about international football and we both had a little bit of a rant <laughs> about gareth southgate and harry Maguire. so yeah. if you want to see a half a hour rant, <laughs> that's where you need to go and check out last week's okay you can watch it on video format or audio as well because on the patreon uh, there's an audio format you can link it straight up to your podcast app so the tactic dad that we're both going to use is the QPR tactic in the rebuild that I did. Yeah. So this is a three at the back formation, four across this like defensive midfield, so it's classed as two wing backs and two defensive midfield and three up front. The I think reason this is why it doesn't use wingers. Yeah. I and think they, this is more of an Italian tactic yeah, as well. They don't require no they don't 
rely on wingers. They no. have them, but they yeah. don't rely on them. They, they're, they're a motto in football, and it is, is we'll take a nil-nil, but we will try and beat you one-nil. Yeah, you know that's it. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of right, I, I seen a, a funny thing the other day with Ben Foster, and he was talking about Tony Pulis. Oh this yeah. Is very off topic, but he's talking about Tony Pulis, and he goes, Do you know, Tony Pulis loves, and I mean loves, a one-nil. Yeah. More than any other result, he prefers a one-nil. Because he goes up to me and he said, we just won 1-0 for West Brom. He come up behind me and he goes, I bloody love a 1-0. <laughs> They're going to go home so pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that. Right, so anyway, Dad's team with the QPR tactic. you still got Cavani in, you still got Buendia in, and you got Suchek in. That's the perfect formation for you, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Looking uh, at that. that that's, I must admit, that is a good looking side now, yeah. All right. Okay. I wish I'd gone for that tactic now. First, let's simulate my tactic with this. No, let's simulate me using this tactic with my players. Then we'll take a look at how Dad's done. Dad, I finished in fourth place. I'm worried now. Yeah, uh, I almost finished in third, but Napoli looked like on the same points beat oh. me at the end of the season there. Pit me to that third place uh, where I drew, unfortunately, to Monza as well. Yeah. That's, anno that's annoying because I beat Napoli 1-0. I was their loss that I gave them there, uh, which, I mean, past positions, we're looking at that. Oh, that's a lovely little upwards graph, isn't it? If you had had a better start of the season, you could have probably won that league. Yeah, that win against Napoli put me into third place, yeah. and the draw, unfortunately, so, not me back So for your fourth. team, the, the, this tactic was better, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. It was a lot better for me. Baraghi got 21 assists, which 10 more than second place. Yeah. Unbelievable. So we know that that you know for fullbacks, this tactic's really good. Yeah. Uh, again, which you can get on the Patreon for having the same game file and on the channel membership for having the same game file, you can get the same tactic. Uh, so fourth place, not bad. Same well points. Yeah, that's, that's a lot really better than the ninth now. place that we yeah. both had. <laughs> uh, I'm really worried now. I, I don't know if I can beat that now. Cup competitions, though. Obviously, we've only got the Coppa Italia. Oh, oh no. winners! of the Cup of Italia. So I've got to win the league now, really, to, to beat you and I, or win the Cup as well. Have they ever won it? They have, seven yeah. times, so I've won it the eighth time. No, they won it in 2001, of course they did, yeah. I remember that one. Uh, so yeah, who did I beat in the final for that one then? Atalanta 2-0, and Kefren Turam scored in that game too, on the 80th minute. Well done. My new sign in there. I mean, we, oh. you still might beat this. You still might be hard. beat this. It's going to be hard. Uh, so tactically, let's have a look at what my team would look like in this formation or in this uh, in this tactic. Uh, we've got Gonzalez and Inzola up front there, Sibiri. So obviously, I didn't change any of those three. No. I only had Turam and Kamara, and they look like they play majority of the time yeah. in that centre mid position. Uh, unfortunately, Suso, who wouldn't suit this tactic very well, he only played four starts, three appearances from the bench, and got one assist. So yeah, he's he's annoyed that he didn't play many yeah, games. I bet he did, yeah. But he obviously he doesn't play in that position no. as a natural. Sibiri would come in there so there we go right okay um, other than that then I think we can be quite happy with, with that performance myself yeah. anyway to your average rating very good really average good. rating yeah, yeah. you've uh, got a lot in sevens haven't you Kamara even got a seven and he's only playing a CDM role so I'm really happy with that okay dad let's have a look to see how you've done with your players in this QPR come tactic on. you finished in third oh, yeah. And you overtook Milan. So you did the opposite of what I did. Yeah. I was third and went down to fourth. You did the opposite. Oh, get in. You went up into third I was place. more consistent than you as well. Look. Yeah. I was there all season. Fifth, 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 oh, fourth, a third. A times I went a little bit better than I. Yeah. Just the beginning part of the season, I was first, wasn't I? Was, was you actually? The time? Well, oh, that was once. the first game of the season. Oh, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> Still counts. Yeah. Brighton were top of the league once. Right? <laughs> yeah. I remember that, that statistic coming up. Uh, profile, though, let's have a look. You had Edison Gavani had the, one of the highest average ratings in the game. Uh, you also had one of the most player the matches of the game. So he was your standout player, and yeah. rightly so, probably. Uh, but yeah, third place finish. Only a point behind second, by the way. No one near top, but no. Napoli are in a league of their own at yeah. the minute. Uh, they were really good for you. It's that cup competition. You need to match it. You need to win the cup as well. And no, third round by Napoli. I mean, Napoli. Napoli has cost you there yeah. uh, in that third round. So other than that, we're very neck and neck. Yeah. So the players that we bought were quite even. I just had a better cup run. I, I think you pipped it there, mate, didn't you? Yeah, Cavani got 20 goals for you. That's quite low. I thought that would be a little bit higher. Yeah. Uh, Milenkovic got 18, which is exceptionally good. Obviously, in this tactic, he's probably attacking the corners. Yeah. Um, Buendia got 15 assists, but Raggy got 17 assists. Still really good average ratings and still good. I, I, I hope for a little bit more goals. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I, I, 
yeah, I would have expected a bit more goals from either one of them, really. But yeah, it's nearly 40 goals between two strikers in that league. I think it's very good. That, he's not a striker, Dad. He's a centre back. Well, sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Zola is a striker. Yeah. That is, you know, t 32 goals between yeah. the two. So, you know, nearly 40 goals. So, but yeah, I think I pipped it from the cup. Well, win. you've, you've what this, the challenge is all about. You know, who who wins something really or try and win something and you've won the cup so yeah I'm going to give it to you so yeah. you, you, you beat me on this time alright nice one only just let us know other teams you want to see us do this challenge with down in the comments section and of course if you want to sign up to the Patreon the channel membership please do we've got the weekly podcast coming out uh, this week we're going to obviously be talking about what happened in the Premier League recently but last week we had a very good rant about Gareth Southgate and his England team that you might want to check out too. And that's obviously on the £3 tier. You can go up to the £5 tier should you want the save game files. Thank you very much. And we'll see you on Monday for another rebuild, shall we? Bye-bye. See you later.